hello friends hello students i welcome you back to my next tutorial on uh, limit splits and tolerances today i'm going to discuss about uh, uh, the gauge design that is go and no go gauge for hole and shaft uh, my let me introduce myself dr m m nadakatti from mechanical professor from mechanical engineering department gokta institute of technology K K L K L S Gupta Institute of Technology, Belgaavi. Today's topic is like this. One sec, please. Yeah. Uh, today, I would like to introduce. Can you see? various introduction to various types of gauges design of gauge for hole and shaft then i would like to show you a small video a freely uploaded video from uh, youtube of gauge checking and then uh, solution to the numerical which is the most important part in my today's discussion It has been observed very much and as I explained in my previous uh, lectures as well that uh, students often find uh, uh, any kind of numericals associated with limits, fits and tolerances and then for the gauge design uh, difficult, uh, relatively difficult. Uh, please note, a pro uh, limits, fits and tolerance problems uh, has two components including gauge. One is uh, hole and a shaft design that is 50% of the problem. Another 50% of the problem is gauge design that is go and no go gauge let us understand what are the number how many number of uh, uh, values we need to find out in a systematic way and uh, if you follow my previous video and present the today's video probably i should i think you should be able to better understand uh, the design of gauges relatively easier let me discuss in short uh, what are the various types of gauges available uh, as you can see in the pdf file embedded there are different types of gauges one is a plain gauge yeah according to their types standard li standard gauges limit gauges limit gauges workshop gauge uh, according to the type and uh, their type purpose workshop gauge inspection gauge reference gauge master gauge then plug gauge then uh, snap gauge ring gauge you have uh, various kinds of gauges according to their design single limit gauge double limit gauge single ended double ended gauge look at this according to the applications you have workshop gauge inspection gauge master and reference gauge according to the form you have plug gauge snap gauge ring gauge according to the design you have fixed limit ga uh, gauge indicating gauge combination gauge then you have a screw pitch gauge radius gauge feeler gauge it is not filler it is a feeler gauge Mm, that taper gauge then there are uh, different materials used for uh, gauges those being uh, uh, the materials uh, uh, the properties of the material that is needed for gauges is hardness to resist wear we need to reuse them on a repeated basis for a long term for a uh, uh, huge number of components uh, corrosion resistance machinability low efficient uh, coefficient of uh, linear expansion to avoid to avoid any effect of temperature stability to ensure that size and shape will not change over a uh, period of time these are uh, the requirements for uh, gauge materials some of the materials used for uh, gauges are as you can observe high carbon steel mild steel high carbon heat treated uh, cast steel between the range of 0.8 to 0.1 uh, percent carbon is commonly used for uh, most of the gauges mild steel case hardened on working surface it's a uh, suitable uh, it is stable and easily machinable case hardened steel chromium plated hard alloys then cast iron and then glass is also used they are free from corrosive effects due to per perspiration from the hands also they are not affected by temperature ranges uh, it is a change it is relatively stable some of the instruments used for gauging are snap and ring gauge combined gauge plug gauge radius gauge feeler gauge screw pitch gauge temp uh, template and form gauges taper gauges some other uh, uh, classification of gauges is uh, i think this has been discussed workshop uh workshop gauges are used to check the dimensions after manufacturing 
inspection gauges that are used to check before and final acceptance purchase inspection gauge to check the part of other factory you are purchasing some components from the other factories so you want they will have checked and they will have sent you but you want to make sure that it conforms to your requirements so that is purchase um, inspection gauge reference or master gauges these are used to check the dimension of the gauges that are being used on the shop floor so they have to be more precise and accurate standard gauges if the gauge is an exact copy of mating part of the component to be checked it is called as a standard gauge but limit gauges are widely used for checking the limits of dimensions of the part that is low limit higher limit they are known as go, go, go gauge and no go gauge Uh, limit gauges these limit gauges are made to the limits of the dimensions of the part to be tested there are two types of limit gauges so we need two limit gauges one is go gauge should pass over uh, pass through or over a part while no go gauge or not go gauge should not pass through the uh, material or the component then limit plug gauge used for uh, checking the holes uh check the whether the hole dimension is within the specified tolerance go plug gauge check the lower limit of the hole no go gauge check the upper limit of the hole plug gauges as you can see the plug gauge is used to check the component see if this is a plug gauge and i want to check this hole i can just check if it is going inside so this hole is accepted so this is go plug gauge then another one could be a no go plug gauge i don't have any uh, let's check yeah uh, this is also a go gauge you may have a shaft which is bigger than this size that can be used as a no go plug gauge another is snap gauge or ring gauges used for shafts so the snap gauge is used this one go gauge uh, uh, for this hole a shaft corresponding to the size 25 h7 should be allowed one side is go gauge as you can see the naming here just a minute yeah uh can you see the go gauge here go is mentioned that means any shaft which corresponds to 25 h7 the tolerance lower limit and upper limit can be found out uh the fundamental deviation for h hole uh, h shaft is 0 and it grade is a 7 it should be some 25 or so so all those who are shafts which are between 25000 to 25 h7 should be able to pass through this so it's a very quick mechanism to identify the shaft which corresponds to this if it is not if it is too low it has to be rejected if it cannot go inside then also it has to be rejected go gauge and another is snap gauge uh similarly we have plug gauge and uh, ring gauge this is a go gauge this is no go gauge uh these are various this is a screw gauge these are uh, two sides of the uh, gauge one is a go uh, one corresponds to go another corresponds to no go can you see here one side corresponds to go so this is a combination gauge both go and no go are embedded in the it is possible in case of plug gauges but ring gauges there is only one possibility it is a ring either it is a go gauge or it is a no go no go gauge this is a screw pitch gauge one side is go and another side is no go and this is can you see this uh, one single plug this uh, plug gauge this is a go gauge it should pass through and then again the no go gauge also if it passes the hole gets rejected ring gauge taylor's principle Uh, a very fundamental principle in design of the gauges is uh, taylor's principle taylor's principle has uh, two components a go gauge will check all the dimension of the workplace in what is called as a maximum metal condition that means indicating the presence of the greatest amount of material permitted at prescribed surface this is a go gauge uh, all maximum metal condition is always checked in case of um, go gauge one sec okay uh, no go gauge no go gauge uh, shall check only one dimension of the workpiece at a time for a minimum metal condition indicating the presence of the least amount of material permitted at a prescribed surface let's exam uh, examine what is this uh, taylor's principle in case of hole maximum metal condition obtained when the hole is machined to the lower limit of the size see even if it is less than the actual size you can still increase the hole and make it usable so this is maximum metal condition can you imagine see if the, this is the uh, this is a hole the even if the hole is smaller than this it can be still be worked and made to this size but if the hole is a bigger size 
then definitely it is already the lot of material has been used mm, the net size is reduced so no further working can be done it gets rejected so the maximum metal condition for a hole is when the hole dimension is in the lowest level minimum metal condition is the one when hole is made with the highest limits that is upper deviation in case of shaft exactly the opposite uh, in case of shaft maximum metal condition is when the shaft is having a bigger size or it is beyond uh, it is higher than the alert uh, it is higher than the uh, given value or more than the given value it can still be worked and uh, made it made to fit to the size but if the shaft size is lower than or smaller than uh, the tolerance provided for that particular shaft say it7 say it8 this is the tolerance if it is less than this tolerance minimum size that means uh, mm, uh, it is already in the minimum working condition uh, even if uh, mm, uh, it uh, if you want to rework on that it is impossible the shaft is already less than the minimum size possible so this is lower limit of the shaft okay taylor's principle for gauge design go gauge is designed to check the maximum metal limit while the no go gauge should be designed to check the minimum metal limit go gauge should check all the related dimension that is roundness or size etc no go gauge should check only one dimension at a given point of time with this background let me straight away now go go ahead with the solution to the numerical application of go gauge and no go gauges taylor's principle according to uh, this is uh, discussed just now please go through my uh, relevant uh, pdf file attached associated with this just have a look this slot is to be checked for width this is a go gauge which is as you can see both width and height is checked and its perpendicularity is checked everything is checked a go gauge should check all dimensions but a no go gauge can you see this uh, if one of there are two no go gauges uh, one is I, if the height is not sufficient it gets rejected if width is not sufficient again it gets rejected ha huh. most important component while designing the uh, allowance for gauges because repeated use that it may so happen that the gauge also may get uh, worn out so in that case the acceptable limits and uh, the components will be rejected it goes very difficult so we need to give over a period of time it is accepted that 10% uh, of the tolerance is allowance is given on the uh, gauges that is if the tolerance is 0 0.001 mm the wear allowance is 0 0.001 mm 10% of the tolerance is normally given as wear allowance in the examination you will be asked to find out or design the go and no go gauge if it is given uh, the wear allowance is 10% well and good otherwise students you can uh, presume that it is 10% of the tolerance value have a look here is the uh, either the whole or this is the whole tolerance 10% of this is called as a gauge tolerance 10% this is the wear allowance this much 10% is the wear allowance this is the direction of wear repeatedly using this that uh, hole tends to wear out on in this direction here okay so this is the direction of the wear gauge tolerance this is wear tolerance for the shaft again uh, the tolerance uh, the wear is occurring continuously we need to give the wear tolerance here on the downward direction and at the uh, lower limit of the shaft you need to give further let us make the things very simple i'll go ahead with the solution of the problem i think uh, there we will make very very clear what is go no go uh, i advise you at this point of time don't worry please don't worry about go gauge no go gauge uh, the wear allowance while solving the problem we will be able to tackle these issues one by one and let us find out an easier way to understand how much is the, the wear allowance to be given then yeah sorry how much is the wear allowance we need to give and uh, uh, how to go ahead with the numerical solutions okay i have also solved uh, some of the problems as you can see on the screen here uh, plug and no go but uh, i will solve you one separate uh, full independent problem let's have a look and then based on that you can uh, go through my notes or otherwise you can also solve the numerical uh, by yourselves going through this okay friends let us now get going with the 
solution to a go and no go gauge problem. Let us say the given problem is 20, uh, the numerical or the examination you will come across. Okay. Design go and no go gauge for 25H7 F8. What is that? Design go and no go gauge for 25H7 F8. And the data that is given in the examination, normally even in the books you come across the same. May, uh, uh, the first part that is diameter of step 18 to 30. Uh, you may have to remember this if it is given well and good. Otherwise, I have served in my previous uh, lecture. Uh, you will have to remember the basic uh, uh, diametral steps. I will show you the diametral steps once I start solving the problem. Let us understand this. So, diametral step given I is equal to the uh, tolerance is given as 0 0.4 0.45 cube root of d plus 0 0.001 d in terms of microns what you get the answer you get in terms of microns uh, value that you substitute here is in terms of millimeters diameter d diameter step this is nominal d it7 is given as a 16i it8 is 25i all these are available from the standard tables even you can solve find out even in the books uh, the standard it values are given i will also show you uh, once i discuss this problem uh, fundamental deviation for f shaft is given as 5.5 d to the power 0.41 okay now uh, let us precisely understand what we are supposed to find out right first we need to understand what is to be discussed and then okay there are two parts Solving the problem consists of one is hole and shaft design another is go and no go gauge design. go and no go gauge go and no go gauge design uh, here you will be identifying this is the given hole this is the h hole h hole and I suppose this is a F shaft, whatever. This is F shaft, just a thing. Yeah, H hole and F8, right. So this is F shaft. That means here this is the fundamental deviation you have to find out. Then this is the IT, uh, this is H7, F8. This is the size that is already given, nominal or basic size is given. Basic size is given as a 25 mm, okay. So then this is IT7 that is equal to it is already given in the numerical let us find out how much is that IT yeah can you see here IT7 is equal to 16i this is given next this is F shaft this is fundamental deviation for F shaft that is also given next this is given as IT F8 this is F8 this is IT8 IT8 is also given as uh, uh, can you see here IT8 is equal to 25. So far everything has been given, all these are given to you. We need to identify the values here and for hole we need to find out the minimum size of the hole, one, then maximum size of the hole, second. For shaft we need to find out the maximum size of the shaft, then three, minimum size of the shaft, four. So four values we need to find out for hole and the shaft, okay, next. Once we come, uh, uh, find out these four values, that is for two values for the hole, two values for the shaft, minimum size of the hole, maximum size of the hole, minimum size of the shaft, maximum size of the shaft, 50% of the problem is solved. I repeat, by solving uh, the four values and some of the examination, only the problem is given up till this part, it carries six to eight marks. But uh, if a problem comes with respect to uh, gauge design, then it will be a numerical of the or uh, probably will get it for about 10 to 12 marks straight away okay now once if we start if this part is okay let us go further with what are the remaining things that we need to find out we need to find out for hole what is the go gauge value go gauge value there are two values one is uh, lower limit of the gauge and another is upper limit of the gauge so let me say one two three four this is five this is six next no go gauge this is 7, this is 8 because again for no go you get uh, two values 
one is go another is no go for go there are two values for no go no there are two values we need also need to consider the where lines that is being given next for shaft again for hole we are using uh, uh, plug gauges or uh, uh, plug gauges for shaft we are using uh, ring gauge or snap gauge okay again you have got go gauge again you have got no go gauge again you need to find out 8 9 10 next next 11 and 12 got it otherwise if you only consider these numbers here there are four values for hole another four values for shaft these are the things that you have to, we have to find out students by going into these numbers get confused pretty much but please note out of these four values and these four already eight, out of eight values four have been identified these four values will fit here only we need to find out the remaining four that's it let me go ahead with further problems uh, solution to this uh, things will become much easier okay done now observe the problem carefully given problem is i uh, design of gauge for 25 h7 f8 by observation h hole is uh, with a fundamental deviation it is on above x y line or the above the basic size and f shaft is below x y line and there is a fundamental deviation which means that this is a clearance fit first conclusion is it's a clearance fit okay step one step one please observe uh, diametral step but first we need to identify is d d is nothing but uh, this d is nothing but uh, the nominal diameter which is the mean of uh, lower limit of the diametral step and higher limit that is root of 18 uh, root of 18 into 30 where 18 just a minute before I go ahead let me also show you the various Yeah, the diametral steps 1 to 3, 3 to 6, 6 to 10, 10 to 18 and our value 25 can you see this 25 lies in the range uh, the 18 to 30. Now if by chance the number value of the diameter given is 30 then we need to pick up the previous step 18 to 30 I had told in my previous uh, session as well and if the value given is say supposing 50 in that case we need to pick up 30 to 50 and not 50 to 80. Okay. Once that is done with, next, come back to this. Okay. Just a minute. capture to transition this is shifting here okay 
window capture to media source wait Sorry, mm, there was light disturbance. Okay, now uh, as I said, d is equal to root of 18 into 30, 23.2. That comes out to be 23.2. I value is given as uh, 0.45 cube root of d plus 0 0.001 d. This answer you get here in microns. And uh, step two, I have mentioned just with a small dot 0.45, where the d value you need to substitute in terms of um, in terms of millimeters, and that is 23.2. Just find out what you get is 1.307 microns or 0 0.00130 mm. Please hold your uh, just pause this video, uh, take your uh, pen and a paper, and write down whether you get this value or not. 0 0.00130 mm. I have rounded it off to 0 0.001. This completes step one and step two. Okay, here you get around two marks for this step. Next, first part of the, uh, there. if you consider these are three or four parts, first, par uh, first part is over, uh, second part is hole design. Step number three, fundamental deviation for H hole. I have drawn a sketch here for uh, uh, convenience. H hole is, it is much easier always to understand. With a drawing, it is much easier. Okay, this is the basic size. The basic size is 25 mm. That is already given here, 25 mm. Next. IT grade is 7, IT 7 is also given as 16i, it is already given in the examination, can you see here and then uh, my, uh, we need to find out FD fundamental deviation for H hole is 0, next uh, IT 7 is equal to 16i, 16 into 0 0.001, you get uh, 0 0.021, if you substitute here, if you substitute i in terms of millimeters, you get this in millimeters, if you substitute in microns, you get this in microns, so please don't confuse. Mm, uh, the units straight away we are I have substituted 0.001 mm here so I will be getting answer in terms of 0.0021 so the basic two sizes of the hole is fixed one is 25.00 then another is 25.027 it is on the plus side because it is a EH hole with IT grade as 7 okay next shaft design shaft design fundamental deviation for EF shaft can you see first initially let us draw the sketch so this is the basic size 25.000 and then here comes the shaft which is EF8 where I8 represents IT grade, IT8 represents IT8 represents 25i. ITH is okay. Fundamental deviation for EF shaft is minus 5.5 d to the power 0.41. It is given already minus 5.5 where d you need to substitute in terms of millimeters and uh, uh, answer you get in terms of microns. Yes, please observe. Uh, fundamental deviation for uh, F shaft, can you see here, minus 5.5 d to the power of 1. I can also show you, these are our picked up from the standard tables. For all the types of shafts and all the types of holes, you have got fundamental deviations, which are, and for H shaft and H hole, I repeat this, uh, the fundamental deviation is, yes, it is 0. Okay, next, uh, fundamental deviation for A hole and A shaft is very, very high. As you move down till EH, the fundamental deviation value decreases. Next, if you move from EH to Z hole, uh, K, L, M, N, O up to that, then EH, uh, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q up to Z shaft, the fundamental deviation increases and for Z shaft and Z hole it is very high, only thing the deviation uh, comes on the negative side. For hole it is negative, for shaft it is positive. Okay, now again come back to this. Fundamental F8 shaft, fundamental deviation is given here. Fd is minus 5.5 d to the power 0 0.41, 23.2.41. .2 Can you see this? Uh, IT for uh, the uh, IT8 is equal to 25 I, 25 into 0.001 mm. Again, uh, I have substituted I in terms of millimeters. If you substitute in microns, please change that later to millimeters. Finally, all the dimensions will be given in terms of millimeters only, not in terms of microns. Okay, shaft size 25. Uh, with this, you can now substitute the values fundamental deviation 0 0.020. Okay, now what is the maximum size of the shaft? That is 25 minus this. This is 25. 
this value is basic size is 25 right 25 mm it's already given basic size so 25 25 minus 0 0.0 will uh, 0 0.020 will give you 24.98 next what is the minimum size of the shaft very simple 25 minus 0 0.020 minus 0 0.32032 yes or no and you get finally the value is 24.948 you may please check this value can you check so this these are the two values basically one two three four two values for the whole two values for the shaft 50 percent of the problem is over it also means that in earlier case it is an entire numerical if there is no gauge design involved and this should get you around six to eight marks completely and please note if you make a mistake here the same mistake gets continued in the gauge design okay now let us go ahead with gauge design so whole whole design is over shaft design is over two values for the holes is calculated two values for the shaft is calculated okay next let us design the gauges for hole first as i said in my class just now we need to find out these four values go gauge no go gauge two values for two values for the go gauge two values for the no go gauge then two values for the shaft uh, two values for the go, go go part two values for the no go part okay. in order to solve the understand this go and no go um, solution let us make very very simple please understand Take out all that is connected with wear allowance, whatever is the case, how to solve, plus, minus. Let us concentrate on the drawing here. Please observe, go back to the basic drawing, H7. We have found H7. Then, please draw the sketch like this. Can you see? Same line continued, 10% on the higher side, this part, you draw two rectangles, two rectangles of the identical size. And this represents the tolerance on the uh, where uh, uh, on the go gauge uh, no, no, this is no go gauge and this is go gauge that is for a uh, hole we need, need to pl design the plug gauges right so plug gauge go plug gauge and no go plug gauge okay all we need to do is first find out 10 percent normal gauge allowance is 10 percent of the tolerance value as you can see here tolerance value for uh, hole is 0 0.021 right can you see this 0.021 mm okay that means the tolerance wear allowance for go and no go gauge with respect to hole is 0.0021 mm right so i have mentioned that 0.021 into multiplied by 0.1 that is 0.0021 mm now four values of gauge for go uh, for case in case of hole is if you draw the sketch uh, you don't have to worry much draw the sketch substitute the values get the answers okay so we know 25.0 we have found out it is already given next we also know this as 24.021 please mark these numbers these two rectangles one lower two upper three this value fourth this go gauge 10 percent here no go gauge 10 percent here okay two values one is already found out 25.0 we know next second value second value is nothing but 25.0 plus this value how much is this it's already mentioned 0.0021 mm 0.0021 mm okay so second value is 25.0021 next third value just look at the arrow third value is already it has been found out upper higher value of the, uh, the upper limit of the hole that is found out how much is that look at this it's already mentioned uh, 25.021 it's already find, found out right we are trying to find out the same one 25.02 next add another 10 percent to this 25.02 plus 0 0.0021 that becomes 25.023 25.023 mm this one number four is nothing but 25.023 please check i repeat once again two values one and three are already available with us one and three this is minimum size of the whole maximum size add a ten percent here add ten percent here 
go gauge this is go gauge one and two values of go gauge 25.00 25.00021 then two values of no go gauge 25.021 it's already found out then 25.0 uh, add this value add this value you will get this uh, please note i have not used any calculations here i have not used any formula just simply going by the drawing uh, two values of holes are found out so add 10 percent on one side add another 10 percent one is go another is no go exactly same is the case in case of shaft only thing the direction gets reversed okay let us solve the problem or uh, let us design the gauge for shaft okay can you see this please okay uh, go and no go gauge for the shaft that is also called as ring gauge for shaft again the gauge let us see the where is the shaft let's have a look okay can you just recollect this is our f8 shaft okay two values three and four have been found out value number three and four minimum size of the shaft is found out this is the maximum size of the shaft maximum size of the shaft is 24.98 and this is minimum is 24.948 okay now same sketch is drawn here 24.948 is seen 24.948 this is 24 these are we have already found out huh as said earlier have a look shaft two values for the go gauge two values for the no go gauge 9th 10th 11th and 12th okay now observe the sketch very pro just observe this neatly look at this two lines moved, moving on the other side just downwards downwards one side is upper side is called as go gauge for the shaft that is uh, for shaft we are using ring gauge or we are also using snap gauge okay go gauge another is no go gauge so this is go part this is no go. don't make a mistake of increasing the size decrease the size here so this is go this is no go okay now again mention the numbers this is five upper limit of the go gauge lower limit of the go gauge six upper limit of the no go gauge seven lower limit of the no go gauge eight so all you need to remember is five six seven eight out of which please observe five is already known to us 5 is known to us. Yeah. Can you see this? Compare this with this. Can you see? Okay. Looks good. So 5 is 5 is known to us. That is this value. 24.98 7 is known to us this is minimum size of the shaft 7 is known to us all we need to do find out is 6 and 8 6 and 8 6 is nothing but 10 percent of this 0 0.003 how much is the d8 d8 tolerance is given as uh, see look tolerance is 0 0.032 so for shaft uh, gauge allowance is 0 0.032 into 0 0.1 that is 0 0.0032 mm okay so for two values of go gauge 5 and 6 two values of no go gauge 7 and 8 one is 24.98 another is 24.98 minus minus 0 0.0032 to, uh, that is equal to whatever the value you get 24.7976 then no go gauge these two 7 and 8 one is 24.798 so 948 it's already known another is this value minus 10 percent minus 10 percent that is 24.948 minus 0 0.0032 how did you get 0 0.0032 that is where allowance so if you substitute you get 5678 that means all the eight values of gauge design uh, of the go and no go gauge for shaft is also found out so let us quickly recap okay let me just recap all these things for your case with this i think uh, we should be able to completely analyze understand what is gauge design let me summarize this numerical once more now let us not worry much about the positive side negative side go no go everything i'll tell you how to solve the problem easily okay first 
first tip is always solve the problem using drawing block diagram simple block diagram is okay okay now let us analyze the problem once more quickly a recap design of co and no go gauge for 25 h7 f8 or 30 h6 whatever the value let us say it could be your uh, 30 uh, say f4 30 f4 d5 okay this is a way combination you can give not necessarily 30 f you can say mm, yeah, you can go to the higher side of the uh, uh, shaft hole that is p p hole p5 then you can also go for a shaft uh, uh, just say k k shaft k6 p5 k6 there are various combinations hundreds of combinations are available thousands of combinations are available but there are some set of standard combinations used in the industries that we need to look into but uh, it will deviate from this topic of solving the problem okay given problem quick uh, review 25 h7 f8 before i review let me take you to these uh, uh, things just a minute please mm. diametral steps 3 to 6 uh, 1 to 3 3 to 6 6 to 10 10 to 18 18 to 30 please by heart this up to at least you should know 80 to 120 these are standard diametral steps and beyond that what we have is 120 to 180 180 to 250 and likewise 500 primarily because these are uh, up to it is uh, these standards are defined up to 500 primarily because to see that uh, uh, these are the standard used uh, uh, industrially used uh, uh, sizes beyond this a very special uh, specific applications may require something more than that it grades is okay next uh, diametral step d is equal to root of d1 d2 18 into 30 you can always find out i value you can always find it as 0.45 cube root of d and likewise this is standard uh, dimensions this is the uh, by private party some extrude design.com and then the this is how the it grades can you see observe it grades standard it grades are mentioned as it 0 1 0 1 2 3 right up till there are it 16 grades each of those already the values have been found out for diametral steps as per this is the it grade 919 1993 okay next you have fundamental deviation can you see this fundamental deviation values this is also defined and one more thing it5 it6 it8 it10 all these are uh, uh, values are defined 7i 10i 16i 25i 40i 64i this will be given normally given in the examination but nevertheless please remember it769 it8 25i it9 40i you remember this and right up till it10 it is better we remember these values next fundamental deviation uh, for sizes formula for fundamental deviation are given and please note fundamental deviation for a uh, the same size of hole and shaft is same it won't change that is a b c d e f can you see there are different formula being used d shaft and this is a d hole also will remain the same minus 16 d to the power 0.44 e shaft and e hole minus 11 for only the sign also changes here in this case okay now coming back to this Uh, please excuse, uh, I have used uh, some references. Uh, I thank those uh, uh, institutes or the industries which, have, uh, which are providing this uh, information. This is purely for educational purpose, no commercial intentions. Uh, I have used your uh, sources. Thanks a lot for that. Uh, in case if you have any objection, that could be taken out. That's not a problem. Okay. Uh, these are anyway standards, IA standards that I am using, internet tolerance standards. These are still available across uh, uh, many platforms. Okay, now uh, come back to the solution. Step 1, step 2, step 3, step 4, step 5, step 6. These step 6 are completing. Uh, one is the first part, that is step 1 and step 2. Find out the diameter, uh, the standard, uh, the, what is it? Nominal diameter, then fundamental deviation, uh, for, uh, uh, tolerance value, I value. Next go for hole design step 3 fundamental deviation for h hole is a 0 it7 is given as 69 16 into 0.001 that is you can identify next draw the sketch please go through the sketch as uh, enter the values 25 this is 25.0021 because this is it7 and if it is a b c d right up till you will start increasing the fundamental deviation value a, a, a we will have highest fundamental deviation and h is the 
uh, h is right on the um, there is no fundamental deviation fundamental deviation for h hole is zero okay two values of holes are got now go for shaft design uh, as you can see f shaft is below the nominal size if it is a to h right up to all these are lying below x y line h shaft just touches x y line then if you go for p q r s t right up till z they go beyond uh, x y line it goes this way so you can identify how much is the fundamental deviation for p q r as you move higher in the, in the um, uh, number or the alphabets the fundamental deviation keeps on increasing okay fundamental deviation for f shaft is uh, found out as uh, is given as for minus 5.5 d to the power 0.41 minus indicates that it is below x y line okay whether you remember or not if you draw if you remember this sketch this is more than sufficient sorry okay. let me just show you once more uh, whether uh, positive sign or negative side okay this is holes this is a to h hole these are all positive deviations next a to h shafts these are all negative deviations next a f g h next p r z let us say these are all these are positive deviations for the shaft next p hole r hole z hole p r z these are all negative deviation for the holes got it okay uh, once we know this once we know this just look at this values so four values fundamental deviation 0 to 0 find out maximum size of the shaft is given as uh, 24 this is 25 minus this part you will get 24.98 next minimum size of the shaft simple 25 uh, 25 basic size minus fundamental deviation minus tolerance that should give you 24.948 no confusions 1 2 3 4 values okay next go and no go gish please note four values for go gauge four uh, two values for go uh, totally four values you will have to identify for hole another four for shaft in case of uh, let's have a look quick yeah see hole go gauge no go gauge two values no go gauge two values shaft go two values no go two values okay go can again draw the sketch just simply draw two rectangles just this one above x y line one small rectangle another uh, just beyond this upper deviation of the hole another rectangle this value is equal to 10 percent of the tolerance 10 percent of this this tolerance for h7 is 0 0.021 i have mentioned here we have already calculated 0 0.021 so this becomes 0 0.0021 can you see uh, for hole the gauge uh, gauge allowance is 0 0.021 into 10 percent that is can you see this 0 0.0021 okay four values just identify one two three four one two three four straight away one out of this one and three are already known 25 and um, 25.021 these are already found out so we are not finding out anymore they are already known to us only thing we have to correlate next two and four this is 25.021 plus 0 0.001 that's all that becomes uh, how much is that 25.0021 go gauge okay go this is 25.000 next 25.0021 this is 0021 is added here this part next third 25.0 how much is that 25.0 uh, yeah 25 point third value just a second it is already found out here 25 point uh, this value 24.948 okay here uh, 24.98 this value is 24 point not 24 25 yeah 25 25 okay 25 point double zero 25 zero to one next uh, sorry, oh shit. Uh, sorry 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 
uh, this is whole yeah here comes I'm sorry uh, yeah D sharp uh, have a look five six seven eight fifth one is known D value 24.98 this value your fundamental deviation is 0 0.002 24.948 24.98 how did you get these are already known to us this is also known to us this value how much is this d8 is 0 0.032 this is 0 0.032 mm that means the allowance is 10% uh, of that 10% of that is 0 0.0032 0 0.0032 so no go gauge 0 0.0032 so now 5 6 7 8 out of which 5 is known uh, 7 is known. These two are already known. Yes or no? This is known. This is known. This we have to identify. Earlier case, this was known. This was known. Only these two we have to identify. So these 5 and 7 are already known. Okay. And 10% uh, of the gauge allowance for uh, shaft is 10% of 0 0.032. 10% of 0 0.032. Can you see this? Uh, that I have found out 10% so 5 and 6 please note go gauge 24.98 5 24.98 it is already known next 24.98 minus 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 0 0.0032 okay sixth is found out seventh 24.98 this is already known to us uh, 24.948 then eighth value is 24.948 minus another 10% that is 0 0.00 whatever you get okay friends uh, I think uh, we have fairly covered uh, majority of our uh, discussions on uh, go and no go gauge let me also see if I have a um, window capture yeah uh, Can you see? Uh, this is the notes that I have uploaded, and uh, here plug gauge and ring gauge. This is one of the problems that was solved for VTO 2003. That is H7, uh, uh, 50 H7 D8. You can try this. I have already solved it. Similar way, please do it again in your home and just check if there could be any mistakes. You may identify and let me know. Fundamental. I have solved it in a systematic way, but uh, try to follow this. Uh, try to follow the methodology I have shown you in the uh, video presentation. Uh, uh, that looks better step wise step one step two step three step four step five step six and then uh, whole uh, the plug in the uh, is eight and nine there are about uh, nine steps or ten steps plug gauge I have designed this and then uh, go gauge no go gauge you can identify ring gauge and snap gauge all those can, things can be solved easily okay another problem I have solved uh, this is with respect to 50 uh, I don't know what is the value. Just check uh, page number. Okay. Friends, uh, I have discussed at length how to solve the gear problems of. Uh, gauges and uh, uh, gauge, oh, plug gauge, ring gauge, snap gauge, how to design the gauge, what is wear allowance, what is the tailor principle, uh, I have discussed uh, at length. In case you have any difficulty, please let me know. Uh, you can write to me, you can uh, message me, mail me, uh, Do I will be able to respond to that in the, uh, as the, at the earliest. I hope you will have a wonderful learning experience. I think uh, we should be able to um, understand limits, fits and tolerances. Uh, the, uh, the how to design the hole, how to design the shaft, how to design the gauges, go gauge and no go gauge, uh, how, how many number of values that we need to find out, everything has been discussed. A mm. lot of time has been spent. I hope uh, you will understand this uh, uh, in a relatively better, easier way. Now you go back to with your re reference materials. There are some good number of books available in uh, uh, for metrology and measurements and then especially for metrology you can refer to any of these books and correlate my uh, material 
for my video presentation with the solution it is uh, preferable that you note down it uh, you can pause it uh, various steps uh, write down the uh, numerical try to solve it and uh, uh, compare your results with my results if there is any deviation you know, let me know okay and uh, uh, I'll continue in the next class. Uh, I would like to discuss something more about uh, connected with uh, unit number five. I hope you will have a wonderful uh, learning. This has given me a, a very good uh, experience of using this OBS software. Um, then uh, materials have the which I have developed. I was able. I was trying to utilize. I think uh, if you find out any no uh, any difficulty in the audio or uh, video presentations or if you have got any um, advice if you have got any feedback regarding the improvement uh, uh, improvement of the video presentation you may please let me know i would like to inca i would like to add those i would like to learn those things and uh, see how best and i sorry before i end let me show you one uh, small video presentation uh, just a minute This has been a video that has been uploaded by uh, some private company uh, using Go and No Go gauge. This is a thread gauge. Can you see this? This is a Go uh, Go thread gauge, and uh, he says it's fine, demonstrating the Go side. This is the thread gauge, some private form, you know, um, which has uh, uploaded. Thanks to uh, thanks to the uh, uploader, I am able to uh, demonstrate you. I am able to use that for your benefit. This is a Go thread gauge. The gentleman uses the other oppo opposite side of the same shaft. This is no go thread gauge. Just check. So he's able to quickly check the shaft. There, there is a huge shaft that is having. He wants to just check quickly whether it is acceptable or non acceptable. And uh, for go should uh, have continue as a Taylor's principle. Go should check all the dimensions. No go should no go go should check only one dimension at any given point of time. So in this case go gauge he checked and it was perfectly fitting into the shaft thread go thread gauge it was perfectly fitting into the shaft and no go it could not go inside so that means it is good accepted no go should not go go should go i repeat in case of shaft in case of shaft for plug gauges in case of shaft okay this is the shaft this is a go gauge go gauge go should always go next no go should not go though let us say this is a go gauge this is a go gauge go should always go any given point of time go should go let us say this is no go gauge and no go gauge should not go at any point of time should not go so that means this is accepted if by chance uh, let us check yeah this is go this is no go now let us say go is also going so accepted no go is also going can you see this no go is also going in that case this component gets rejected this shaft gets rejected exactly opposite is in case of holes supposing this is the hole i need to check this is the plug gauge go plug gauge go plug gauge should go into this at any given point of time go plug gauge next let us say this is no go plug gauge no go plug gauge also goes into this this component gets rejected this hole gets rejected no go gauge yeah so i hope i have made the points very clear friends uh, thank you thank for your patient hearing if you have any doubts any queries any clar clarifications please uh, write to me uh, i am available uh, on my whatsapp numbers on my email uh, which is uh, which can be found in the description below please try to find out if you have any feedback you can just type it in your uh, comments box let me try to address that Thank you. Have a nice day.